Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. We're, we're jumping once again into another FOMO panic of 2023 build. The Fajaloa. Let's call it that. Is that still... Is that one of the ones I got rid of? Did they get rid of... I think this is a four-door. Is it a four-door? Or is it a luxury? Two door? I think it's just gone. Let's assume it's a goner. By the time you see this video, maybe maybe they'll have repented. And, you know, they'll. What are we doing today? They won't be trying to drive anxiety into millions upon millions of people who can't now get cars and have to make GTA their second life because you know, rusted trim, no. Half mast, full wood. I've I've got to go for the full wood. You know that. Keep it green. Making decisions is stressful. Let's see brakes, race brakes, bumpers, front bumper. Remove that. Looks kind of funny. I mean, if you guess you're going for like a race build, but. Rusted bumper. You can go for a rusty build. It is rusty jack, but we're not doing that. Tuner bumper. Tourer bumper. Ooh. So it's got some fog lights going on there. A little modernization. Rusted tourer bumper. Um, it's either going to be stock front or tourer. Are we going to make this a modern Risto mod kind of thing? Rear bumpers. Remove or rusted. No, we're just going to leave the rear chrome. Chassis. Wooded, wooden interior. So is this a two door? So it's all, it's either either a cloth trunk or a wooden no trunk. I mean, the wooden trunk's a little more dynamic, but also probably makes it less of a good place to have sex. So let's leave it a, a covered fog lights. No covered fog lights. Covered fog lights. Basic lights. Tour lights. Rally. They're all covered. Rally de Paleto San Andreas. Whatever you design. Technology and budget But why would you have, like, why not just give us lights? Exhaust, shotgun, dual. How many cars you got in this garage again? Oh, good number. This is the kind of engine I like to work on. Stock headlights, rusty lids, no. Secondary trim. Yeah, let's leave them stock. Horn. Let's leave the regular honkity honk. Lights. Life is hard when you can have anything. Headlights. No, not xenons. Neon kit. Neon layout. Front back sides. You know, the, I was gonna do this like a cream, like kind of a bait, but that line green, the more I stare at it. Uh, did we just are we doing just front and back? Did we do the wrong thing? Yeah, okay, we do the wrong thing. But money lost. Okay, so we put all the lights on it. But it's actually kind of starting to grow on me a little bit. You know, the whole lime green and wood. I can't get lime green because I haven't unlocked it yet on this. Livery, though. Okay, so we have classic stripes. Retro. Which, I don't know what that does. Dirty 30. Zombix Racer. Okay, the, the wood takes out a lot of the liveries. Rally de Paleto. So there you go, your rusted livery if you want to go rusty. Uh, 
I think if you're going for the wood on the sides, then you, that that's your livery there. You know, stock rusted custom, custom rusted custom fender mounted. Stock fender mirror. I like the roundness. Not a bad job. Do you think, or do you think the squareness? I think the roundness goes with the headlights. Wait. That's interesting. Does it have? It has this plate up front. So I don't know. Do we want to mess with the plate? Probably not. Back to plate to the respray. See, that's, that's a lime green, but like if I go to primary metallic, lime green is still locked out. So I think I'll just leave it as it was purchased. Secondary color. What is the secondary? Oh, there's a whole trim thing going on here. So it defaults to chrome. Let's leave it chrome on the cheap. Roof, roof rack. This might be a performance enhancing thing. Rusted rack, skis. The same surfboard is on the Eudora. That gray surfboard. Ooh, it's a gray surfboard. No or just a roof rack. Suspension, slam it, why not? That'll stop the stock wheels look kind of nice. I think I'm going to keep those. I'm going for just a very clean sort of basic visor. Rusted. They really pushed the rust on this. Retro. Go retro. Retro visor. Wheels, we're just going to make them bulletproof. Because that looks kind of nice. Tire, uh, tire smoke, do we have green? You know, it's a harsh green, though. We'll let that go. Windows, we light smoke them because we don't we always. Don't she look pretty? Don't she, don't she just? Let's, let's take her out. Now this one is, look at all those lights. It, this is supposed to be just a looker. I mean, it's not necessarily going to win you any races. Because it's, look at this, not a lot of power. You know what else I bet it doesn't do very well? And is this, is this becoming too much of a meme? Like if I, if I beat this to death, it's the whole thing just kind of beating to death. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Not nice. Hey, I didn't shoot them. All right, let's do it. Will the Fajaloa go up? My jobs to Mount Schleyard. Duh! What can I say? This does seem to provide some comedic entertainment as these things kind of just fall down the hill. Mitchable! Man, I haven't seen you in ages, dude. How are you doing? To catch up with Mitchable at some point. I do need to play some TF2. I haven't played any since. They added the uh, they had a big update that made it really it, it sets records for people playing it because apparently there's like a really cute seal that pops through the map while you fight around it. I don't know. There's some kind of thing that goes on there. I have to try that. And here we go. Yes, I want to launch on my own because I wouldn't subject anybody to this, right? Fajaloa. Huh? 
kind of digging it. Yeah, it has the Euro plate on the front, so I left the, the numbers alone so that we fill out the Euro plate well. Whoa, do a barrel roll. And pull through the water? Okay, Fajolo, I'm, I'm already impressed. A little bouncy through there. Can we beat the train? I think we can. Not by much, but still. Train's still a coming all night long. Alright. Train kept a rolling all night long. Can almost fit inside the tracks. Yeah, that's why I feel like it'll wobble on me and we'll launch it into the uh, launch it into the river. There's the green. Oddly enough, not tempted to give it the green headlights. Like somehow this just deserves a old fashioned yellow headlights. The old seal beam. Mandated by law for the longest time, that's why the US only had round headlights, because they had to be that style. So the regulatory stuff caught up. Very nice so far. So far I am impressed, but this is where it's gonna get difficult. I don't know what it's doing as far as traction. Maybe it's a traction monster. But it's a uh, power... Uh, yeah. uh, uh, it looks nice. It looks like something you'd want to take on a camping trip. To the top of the mountain. up to the top of the... Can we go up the top of the mountain? Okay, it just dropped the gear. Like, didn't blow it up, but I mean, it's... It's dropped down to first. Now, can it... If it can get over this hump... If it gif... As the Greeks would say, if... Okay, wait a minute. Now, let's wait a minute. That was pretty close. Now, if we do this at an angle... We're not doing this, are we? I feel like, with some technique... By the way, I'm not, I'm not going in reverse here. This is still forward. We, this could be done, but I think it's probably going to be much, much easier just to launch back down. Hopefully not blow up. Count. And then we cross before the train hits. There comes the train. So many trains. It must be. It must be just a good economy, right? And we'll take the path. Get this thing to the top of Chiliad. If he doesn't love the top of Chiliad, we'll take the scenic route with the Fajalola. The Rockstar loves making things awkward for people, giving the cars names. Like Fajaloa. This is not doing too bad, folks. I mean, honestly, a lot better than I thought it would. Even the kind of the fail on the hot lap was better than I thought it would. I feel like if I'd gotten that just right, it might have gotten there. But I didn't. And so we're doing this now.
this this isn't too bad. I mean, I don't think it's ever not going to win you anything against the Turismo Classic, but you know, it's not a bad car for cruising. It's got good grip, good handling. It hand, the handling is very nice on it, and it looks cool. And really, isn't that all you want in a video game car? I mean, even a regular car. I mean, imagine having a real one of these in real life. It would be a lot of tuning carburetors and stuff, you know? Of course, one in this game has a turbo, so probably, you know, modern resto mod kind of thing going on here. That was our, our build anyway, the resto mod build. Might be a different story if you didn't if you got a stock version of this without all the, the engine upgrades and the turbo and the turbo tuning and then all that you know, it might be a little different story. But for right now, hey, I'm enjoying this car. I'm glad I bought it before they took it out of the game. And so hey, you like you know. We got this going for us. around here and let's go up this way. Ooh, I, I, I really kind of screwed the angle up on that. I never did. I took a turn too early. Oh, and then I hit the I hit I hit I hit the brakes. I was already going backwards. Oh we're near we're near a disaster here, but well, that was really good good grip there. Very nearly a shitty odd disaster. And let's try this again. Just a little momentum. Bloop. Makes it up to the top. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe with a little bit better technique. This could do the hot lab, but it's borderline. Borderline on the power, I think. That's just the main thing. Let's see how it does as far as brakes are concerned. Going down, it's pretty steep. We make the turn at the fences, and then we let it roll a little bit, roll it roll out, roll it roll out. Let's curve it over. Oh, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're ooh! I don't think I've ever done that before. But can we get back to where we want to be? I think so. It, it seems like it could drive all over the place in Chile. I just couldn't seem to do the exact hot lap. Thing. So, again, yeah, maybe operator error on my part. You know, these things happen. Brakes, because we are flying. We're going to go right into the... Uh, into the lumber yard here, and that won't be good. Third train. This train just keeps coming all night long. Train keeps it coming at home on that long. Now, can I keep... You know, it should, it's a narrower car, I think. But can I keep it from launching it into the river? Because that, that would be a negative thing. You know, that, that's just a negative thing. If you can keep, you know, drowning the car and having to come all the way back down to the eye. Okay, now if we can not do that here, whoa. See, it bounced a little bit to the side there. A wooga wooga wooga, it's bouncing along. I think we're okay. There's always opportunity for failure. You know what I'm saying, my friends? But, you know, you can not have the failure. That is better. And the dismount! Okay, not that's not too bad either. A little bit of side slide, but yeah, alright, we'll take it. Top speed is let's see, where's the button? 
the, the, I don't think the analog ones are terribly accurate. That's looking like it's like 80 or 90, and now we're down to 70, and then end up pushing it like that. And we got a trailer coming across in front of us, and we just missed it. Could have taken out the boat, maybe, but this is boof. I'm going to guess this isn't going to make this little jump. Now it's really getting bogged down. I'm not sure why. Is it just the bushes? Okay, can we climb up the... Oh, dear. Roll, roll, roll. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's just do the little... zifty do here. And... Ow. Yeah, it wasn't as smooth as I'd hoped. It wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth. Not even a little bit smooth. Wasn't smooth. So I've been recording this. It's August 10th, I think. I'm wondering will the skies clear up so we can see the meteor shower. The it's raining today. I mean, it's, you're not seeing anything out there now. Will there be hope? I don't know. Thank goodness, those are really, really, really tough pushes. And across the line. We did it. Hey, that went a lot better than I thought it would. I thought this was going to be a joke. I really did. I thought this was going to be stuck. Can't make it up to size. Can't do this. But that is a lot peppier than, say, the Dynasty. Even. At least in my opinion. All right, let's take one last look at it. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy driving the cars up the hills and stuff like that. So that's why I do this. I, I share with you what I do. And then we'll see. If, if that works, that's great. If it becomes popular... Great. If not, well, it's what I do. Here's the, the, the more comfy back of that, which is not exceptionally comfy, but you gotta have, you know, options. And that is, yes, that is a, a very big, uh, but that looks like it's got, like, you know, a Skyline engine in it. That's, or something along those lines. That's a very hopped up kind of motor. Very nice. And there we have it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Vajaloa. And this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.